Hello my dear friends, research scholars, colleagues and teachers. Uh, this video is uh, made for the uh, scholars so they just uh, get to know about the open access journals and uh, related things. I had already made some videos related to the open access but many times what happens that uh, the information remains high. Right? Uh, you cannot watch actually complete video or sometimes uh, one may be ignored. Uh, so through this video actually I want to uh, again inform you that uh, I have created open access journals related videos. From that you can get an idea that how the publisher, how the journal define the open access policies. Right? What are those policies? and how a journal can be open access what are those points right so from those videos you can get that information also you can get the information about to the uh, article how your article get indexed into the different repositories also you uh, can create your article uh, favorable for different search engines what are those tricks and what are those technical steps by which your article may be uh, listed at the uh, number one page of uh, different uh, search engines right this uh, this trick basically uh, bloggers use but uh, this is also true for every digital content which is available on any website right that is called the search engine optimization so you how you basically can optimize your research article for the search engine so i have already explained those things and then after uh, i had uh, created some videos related to the importance of the social media for the research as you know that alt matrix uh, plumax uh, these are some tools basically of elsevier and web of science by which they observe that how basically article is performing right into the scientific community and in social society right social contribution uh, they see through the uh, twitter through the facebook like that social media contribution of that a research article in addition to the citation so alt matrix is also equally important so how basically uh, these uh, things incorporated in your research so this video may be helpful because traditional researchers are not familiar with those tricks and uh, those are uh, terminology you can say and they think this is uh, not of their use but I am, I am a regular researcher and always familiar with the uh, many uh, things related to the publication, research publication and those experience I always share with you. Most probably uh, these uh, things, if you watch continue uh, this video will be definitely helpful to all of you. Right? So this was the only purpose of this video and I am 100% sure this information will be useful to you and my uh, aim uh, is just to make aware uh, in the uh, researcher, the authors about the technology the, which basically publishers use into the journal, right? So this was the idea and uh, I hope you will get this information uh, through the videos uh, which I had created or if you have any question you can ask me at any time. I will try uh, to give the response on a specific day. You just decide that which day basically we can interact directly either through the webinar or through the video source. So thank you once again uh, being with me.